आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ Hello everyone the ends a and b of a straight line segment of constant length c slide upon the fixed rectangular axis ox and oy respectively if the rectangle oapb be completed then the locus of the foot of the perpendicular drawn from p to ab is okay so we have to find the locus of foot of perpendicular which is drawn from point p to the line ab so first of all i will draw my coordinate axis so this is my coordinate axis and this is my line segment ab okay this is my line segment ab which is sliding in between this coordinate axis so this is my x axis this is my y axis now say the point of line which is touching the x axis is a and the point which is touching y axis is b now this due to the sliding of this line segment it completes a uh, rectangle so another vertex of rectangle say it is p okay now join them p b and ap to complete our rectangle so this is my complete rectangle this one is my complete rectangle now draw a perpendicular from p to the line ab so this is my perpendicular from p to line ab now this points it's the this point which is touching the line ab of perpendicular pm is my foot of perpendicular which is point m let us suppose the coordinates of this point are h comma k and we have to find the locus of this point m assume this is my origin okay this is my origin point and assume distance oa is equals to a so the coordinates of a will be equal to a comma 0 similarly assume distance ob is equals to small b so the coordinates of point b will be equal to 0 comma b now see here one thing a and b this is small a and small b are variable and we have to find the locus of point m now it is given in the question ab is equals to c ab is equals to c which implies that if we square them so ab square will be equal to c square now from the diagram we can see that ab square ab square will be equal to oa square plus ob square oa square plus ob square now ab square is c square and oa square is a square plus ob square is b square so a square plus b square is equals to c square this is my first equation this is my first equation now line pm and ab are perpendicular to each other so the product of their slope will be equal to minus 1 so i will write this first of all the slope of line ab which will be equal to 0 minus b divided by a minus 0 multiply by slope of line pm will be now see here one thing coordinates of point p will be a comma b because this pb see this pb okay the point b and point p are on the same elevation from x axis so the the coordinate of b y coordinate of b and y coordinate of p will be same similarly x coordinate of a and x coordinate of p will be same therefore we have right here coordinates of point p as a comma b now slope of line pm will be equal to what it will be k minus b k minus b divided by h minus a and it will be equal to minus 1 so on simplifying what we will get we will get ah minus bk ah minus bk will be equal to a square minus b square this is my equation 2 now write the equation of line ab in intercept form so equation of line ab equation of line ab intercept form okay so x intercept of line ab is a and y intercept of line ab is b so its equation will be x by a plus y by b is equals to 1 x by a plus y by b equal to 1 now see this m point lies on this line ab so the coordinates of point m will satisfy this equation so coordinates of m are h and k so at the place of x we will write h and at the place of y we will write k so h upon a plus k upon b is equals to 1 now from here we will get bh plus ak minus of ab is equals to 0 this is my equation 3 this is my equation 3 and equation 2 also can also be written as here i will write it as ah minus bk minus of a square minus b square is equals to 0 now solve the equation 2 and 3 using cross elimination method 
solve equation 2 and equation 3 using cross elimination method so what we will get we will get h upon a b square plus a multiplied by a square minus b square which is equal to k divided by k divided by minus of b minus of b a square minus b square a square minus b square plus a square b which is equal to 1 divided by 1 divided by a square plus b square okay now see here h upon a cube when you will simplify you will get h upon a cube because this a b square and this a b square will get cancel out and here remaining will be h upon a cube similarly here k upon b cube will be remain and 1 divided by now a square plus b square can be written as c square okay in the first equation we have seen this a square plus b square is equals to c square now coming move for forward what we will get we will get h c square h c square is equals to a q which implies that a is equals to h c square whole raised to the power 1 by 3 and on the same grounds we will get b is equals to b is equals to k c square whole raised to the power 1 by 3 now put the value of a and b in the equation 1 which is what it is a square plus b square is equals to c square so put these values here so what you will get you will get hc square whole raised to the power 2 by 3 plus kc square whole raised to the power 2 by 3 is equals to c square so from here you will get h raised to the power 2 by 3 plus k raised to the power 2 by 3 will be equal to c raised to the power 2 by 3 now substitute back the value of x and y at the place of h and k so you will get x raised to the power 2 by 3 plus y raised to the power 2 by 3 which is equal to c raised to the power 2 by 3 this is the required equation of locus of point m so thank you class 6 to 12 se leke neat iit je means or advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa aaj hi download kare doubt net app ya whatsapp kijiye apne doubts 8400400400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400